Hello. Uh, here's another video of me talking about shit. So, yeah. Anyway, I finished the first season of uh, Friendship is Magic. Um, I started watching Friendship is Magic actually months ago. And it wasn't until recently where I kind of picked up on the episodes again. So, yeah. And, um, yeah, I finished the first season. I really did finish the first season. And you're probably asking, why are you, why are you just watching? If you're an animation fan, why are you just watching Friendship is Magic? Like, every that. <laughs> and it's like, I feel like, I, I feel like I really wish, I feel like I watched it earlier. You know, the funny thing is I did watch the first episode like a decade ago when I was like at least 10 years old. And that was only because of my interest of the creepy pasta stuff, like cupcakes. If you grew up in the 2010s or if you were old enough to use the internet, you remember like the, you know, the cupcakes creepy pasta thing where the uh where the <laughs> where Pinkie Pie, you know, would, you know, torture, remember that you you know the point. But yeah, I I really did wish I got into my little pony much earlier. I feel like I was too young for it, but at the same time, I was kind of old enough. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And I think it all started off with Equestria Girls, with Rainbow Walks. Um, you know, I was so obsessed with the Dazzlings, and I really loved the Equestria Girl movies. I actually finished watching all four of the movies, uh, actually. And um, it was really good. I loved all four of the movies. I love Friendship Games. Friendship Games was... Very amazing. I, I actually thought it wouldn't be as great as Rainbow Walks because, you know, the Dazzlings. But uh, French Games was actually really awesome. It's definitely a movie I would definitely rewatch again. I really loved the the music and the lore about how, like, there was another Twilight. Or there's, no, there's another Twilight in the Equestria Girls universe. So that's definitely <laughs> pretty cool. But, yeah, and uh, Everfree, that was also awesome. Gloriosa song and um, the Ever Camp Ever Free movie that was very amazing, and the first movie was awesome too. So yeah, if I were to rank the movies, it would probably be number one would probably Rainbow would be uh, probably be Rainbow Walks. Number two would probably be um, Friendship Games. Three Ever Free, and then the last one would probably be like the first movie. But um, yeah, I finished the first season of Friendship is Magic, and here's my thoughts. I love it. I actually love Friendship is Magic. I've always loved it, even before watching it. You know, there's a reason why, you know, the show itself basically gained the traction that it did in the early 2010s from, you know, the adult audience, especially particularly adult males, because of the way it was written, the art style. People say it's the art style, but people don't mention the way it's written, too. You know, it's way different <laughs> than the past generations it's more goofier and wackier it's filled with a lot of jokes as well and the animation is more expressive too so yeah it, it was pretty cool and the art style was way more different than um the past four generations and you can thank lauren faust for that she designed the characters and stuff i'm not sure if anybody else did but i saw like I remember seeing, like, on Twitter a few months ago. I don't know if she posted it, because I think I follow her on Twitter, Lauren Faust. And she um, she showed, like, designs and stuff. So I think she's the reason why the art style is the way it, is the way it was. And, um, yeah, yeah, Lauren Faust, she's the wife of Craig McCracken. And uh, she helped work on um, Foster's, home, uh, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. So, yeah. You can thank her for that. And the amazing voice actors of the main six. Tara Strong, she voices Twilight. I think Rainbow Dash and Applejack, they're voiced by Ashley Ball. Rarity is voiced by Tabitha St. German, Jermaine. And Pinkie Pie, and Re I think Pinkie Pie is voiced by Andrea Lipman. And um, I think uh, Fluttershy. Fluttershy is also voiced by Andrea Lipman too. I think, yeah. So that's yeah, the voice actors. Um, hopefully I got all of them right. <laughs> I've been trying to get them right. 
But yeah, yeah, Tabitha Saint German. She also voiced uh one of the characters from Being Ian. She voiced I think the character's name was Sandy. I have to look that up. From uh Being Ian. I think she's voiced by her. Let me see. Yeah, she voiced by her. So yeah, it's Tabitha Saint Germain. Something I looked up months ago. But yeah, yeah, people don't mention people don't really, you know. Despite all the lore and and I guess story led episodes in My Little Pony, people don't really talk about like how the goofier aspect of My Little Pony and the cartoony aspect that's added within the show, and I think it's it's really fresh, really fresh for uh, you know Generation Four, especially during that time when they came out back in our uh, twenty ten. So. And people realize people don't realize early twenty tens was like a renaissance for animation, especially television animation. You had like a renaissance of a lot of shows like Adventure Time, Regular Show, Gumball, Gravity Falls, Steven Universe, and yeah, My Little Pony, Dan Versus, <laughs> my favorite. There was definitely a huge freaking renaissance for animation during that time. Especially after the late 2000s, where you kind of had more of episodic shows. Because half of those shows that came out in the early 2010s later became more linear. Especially My Little Pony and Adventure Time. Especially Adventure Time and Steven Universe. So a lot of those shows became more series-oriented. And luckily, we did kind of get another span of time where we got shows like that again. Like Owl House and um, Star vs. And uh, Amphibia, and I guess I guess Glitch Tags. I haven't watched all the Glitch Tags to be honest with you, but yeah, it's definitely something else. Yeah, yeah, My Little Pony came out during the time, and you know, uh, all of that. But yeah, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. I'm definitely gonna be watching more seasons. I love, um, I really love it. I fucking love My Little Pony. I'm a bony. Well, I guess you call me a Pegasus sister because of the. <laughs> Gender dysphoria, trans stuff. Um, yeah, I'm a I'm a brony or a sister, whatever you want to fucking refer me. I don't know. I don't I don't force people to. I don't force people to refer to me by my pronouns. Like if someone says he, I'm not gonna get offended. And I, you know, we live in a world where people aren't. We live in a world where people aren't gonna take trans issues seriously. So I don't expect people to fucking refer to me by pronouns because I don't even look like a female in real life anywhere. I'm, I'm literally shaving my beard every single day because <laughs> it keeps going back. So, you know, I'm, I'm I'm a male dealing with male problems, but wants to be a female. So, but anyway, um, yeah. And I'm not even into the franchise of My Little Pony itself. I just like Gen 4. Gen 4 is just that special generation. Like people don't even like Generation 5, you know? So, and I feel like my thing is, I feel like Hasbro should just continue Gen 4. I feel like they should have just milked it for a couple more decades instead of just going to Gen 5. I mean, like, Gen 4 is so unique. It has that recognizable art style. <laughs> you know, I don't know. You know, I feel like they should just milk Gen 4. Yeah, that's just my opinion. They didn't even have to continue the series. They could just milk it for merchandise, maybe do spinoffs or something. I don't know. Or a sequel series. That's just my opinion. I don't know. I think Hasbro should just milk Gen 4. So... But, um, yeah, that's all I got to say. Um, oh, I also forgot to mention, My Little Pony kind of in my... It's kind of like, you know, the Mickey Mouse cartoons. Uh, 2013 Mickey Mouse cartoons where, like, that, that characters are more wackier and goofy and stuff like that. By the way, they're very awesome stuff. But, um, yeah, it's kind of like that. In a sense, if you want to make a comparison. I forgot to mention that. But, uh, yeah. That's all I got to say. It's my opinion. I just wanted to say I finished the first season... Here's my thoughts, so, yeah.